Hi everyone, it's Artist Adventures here and today I'm going to be talking about the Honda CB125R. I've owned this motorcycle for about one year now. I bought it brand new and I've put around 3,000 miles on it. I've even driven it from Land's End up to John O'Groats. If you're interested in that, you can see it in Series 1 on my channel. But in today's video, I'm going to be sharing my thoughts and experiences of owning this motorcycle for anyone who's interested or might be thinking about buying one as well. I'll discuss the design and build quality, the performance and handling, maintenance and reliability and the cost slash kind of value for money that you get with the bike. So let's get into the video. Design and build quality. The Honda CB125R has a sporty kind of street fighter style to it and it was the design and look of this bike that first drew me to it when I was looking through the 125s that were available on the market. It has a low seat height and a relatively upright riding position so it makes it nice and easy to control and maneuver which is perfect for newer riders. It's got a solid, well-constructed feel to it that gives the impression of kind of like durability. The fuel tank can hold around 10.2 litres of fuel in there and the bike has a LED headlight, tail light and a digital display that will show the speedometer, how many revs you're doing and all the kind of usual information you'd expect on there. The main thing I'll say is that when you're on this bike, you really do feel like it's a reliable bike, good quality. I never had any worries about it breaking down or anything like that, no matter how kind of much I pushed it. So now we'll look at performance and handling. So I can say from first hand experience, for a 125cc it is pretty nippy. It's faster than you'd expect. It's got a liquid cooled fuel injected engine and it's got a six speed transmission. So that allows you to have that smooth and efficient power delivery. On paper, the bike has a top speed of 68 miles per hour, but I've managed to get a bit more speed out of it than that. Uh, and the fuel consumption is around 107 miles per gallon. And as for handling, so I've driven the Honda on many different types of road in the UK, through many potholes uh, and around kind of twists in the Peak District, and it handles really well. Um, you know, luckily, even though I'm a new driver, I've never dropped it or come off. Um, and I do think that's partly due to the excellent handling of the bike. You know, it's, it's pretty forgiving. Then looking at maintenance and reliability. So maintenance wise, I've had no problems at all with this motorcycle. Everything has worked as it's supposed to. It's had its first service and there were no issues as you'd expect with a new bike. So the only maintenance I've had to do is the usual sort of thing, like a bit of air in the tires uh, and cleaning the chain a few times. But Honda are a reliable brand, so you wouldn't expect to see any issues. And I'm confident that this Honda CB125R is built to last. Next, we're gonna talk about the cost and value for money you get. If you're enjoying the video, then please do consider hitting the like button really helps out the channel. So for cost and value, for 2023, the Honda CB125R has a starting price of £4,599, which obviously varies depending on what country you're looking to buy the motorcycle in. And if you're a new rider, then you just want to keep in mind that you've got your other costs like insurance, fuel to get around, um, and the gear that you actually want to ride in can end up costing quite a lot. So you just want to factor that in too. But as for value, I think personally for the price, the Honda CB125R offers great value for money. It's a well-designed, well-built motorcycle, it offers a good balance of performance, handling and fuel efficiency. It has a modern design, a good range of features and equipment, so it really does stand out from the bikes in its class. And I touched on it earlier, but you know, Honda have a great reputation for reliability and durability. It's a good choice for new riders or those who prefer kind of like a more relaxed riding position. So in summary, I would say that the Honda CB125R is a great motorcycle. It's reliable, perfect for beginners or more relaxed riders. I've personally loved owning it for this past year, but will likely be training it in to get a bigger engine, uh, maybe like a more adventure focused motorcycle for some of the trips that I've got planned this year. So if you'd like to follow along for the ride, then please consider subbing to the channel. Uh, you'll be able to see the new motorcycle that I get as well as the trips that I go on. If you have any questions or comments, then feel free to leave them below and I'll see you in the next one.